these are the winter tires you want if you have a light truck. These are Nokian, Nokian is the company, Huckapolita, these are LT. So I'm running on, this, on the van a 225-75R16. This is a 10-ply tire here, so if you have a, anything that's three-quarter ton or one ton, uh, that's the tire you're going to want. They make them different models for passenger cars and all of that, but it has a rubber compound that is incredible. I get the studded ones, and the nice thing about it is, you know, I've had studs done at, at local companies here where they just stud the tires, and they use, a, just as a, as a or interesting side note, if you want studs that last a long, long time, the only state I think is legal to run hardened steel studs is Alaska. So we ha I have some of course, I wouldn't do this myself, but it's highly, highly illegal. But I do know some guys locally here that order the studs from Alaska tire dealers, have them sent down here, the blanks, and then have them installed uh, in their tires, and they last a lot, lot longer. But the nice thing about the Huckapolita studs is, is they have, they're, they're almost like pins that come up. And when they put these in, they put them in, in the factory and they balance the tire with them. So they're a very, it's a premium tire, a really high end quality tire that balances well, and they're a lot less noisy. They don't stick up so far as some of the other ones, and they wear better because they, the diameter of the stud is the same for quite a ways up. So as the tire wears down, you still get that sharpness rather than on, you know, some studs, they're kind of shaped like a pyramid. And then after one or two seasons, they, they're basically flat round metal discs on there and they actually make traction worse. So these are incredible, incredible tires. Um, probably the best you're going to get. The, they just, uh, well, of course the, uh, where are they made? What did I say? The fins? The fins wouldn't know anything about driving in cold weather, would they? All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video. I don't know what it is about adverse weather, but I, I always I always enjoy it. So I, I've got a lot of positive response from you guys who uh, have enjoyed me bringing back kind of uh, little conversations in the end cards. I guess it's like kind of a bonus. You get a little mini podcast as well as a, vi <laughs> as a video. But I wanted to share something with you. This is a story um, that I got firsthand uh, from, a, from an acquaintance of mine uh, years ago. I've told it before, but it's been some time, but it... Um, uh, the reason why I'm sharing with you today because uh, I experienced it in real life um, myself yesterday. So this guy uh, that was a friend of mine, so he was a big high-powered real estate agent, really successful. And he was uh, working from his home and he was getting ready to show a very wealthy, a guy that was a multimillionaire, uh, him a piece of vacation property. It was like a ranch uh, up in northern Montana. And so this uh, this millionaire had flown in from some city and drove all the way up to my friend's house um, to jump into his car and, and to go see this um, this huge ranch. Well, uh, my friend is a uh, devout Christian and uh, kind of a, a lay minister. His wife was a stay-at-home mother. They raised their kids from home and he ran his real estate business. So this guy came over and they jumped in front of his truck and he they were getting ready to head out. This was a really a big deal. would have been a, a tremendous commission for him. Well, he started his truck and he looked out the front window and saw all of the laundry hanging on a clothesline that his wife had put up and it was had been up there and it was ready to come down. And he uh, he told me, he said, the Holy, the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, Jim, I want you to take that laundry down, put it in the basket and, and take it in and give it to your wife. And he had this tremendous struggle within, you know, of course, you know, we as men and especially those of us who are our breadwinners was thinking, are you joking? That's not, not my job. Why would I, uh, I've got this important man sitting in my truck. Why would I do this? And uh, uh, why would I make him wait and, and go and do this meaningless or, or, or this insignificant task? You know, I'm, that's where pride comes in, right? I'm, I'm too important to, to do such things. That's, that's my wife's work. You know, that's, that's what he was telling me. I mean, that was the first thing that came into his mind. He said the Holy, said the Holy Ghost, he really pressed on him. He was like, Jim, I want you to do this. So Jim turned the ignition off got out and started putting the clothing in the basket, taking it off one piece at a time. And here this important guy sitting in, in the cab of his truck watching this. So Jim does this, walks in, you know, takes takes a couple minutes, takes the laundry, puts it in the house, gets back in the truck. Of course, the guy turns and looks at him and says, what, what are you doing? Why, why, why did you just, just do that? And... Uh, <laughs> He said, "He goes, I, you know, I, I didn't know what to say. I was, I was really conflicted, and so I, I just, I just decided to tell him the truth. I said, uh, well, God, God told me to, 
Well, this guy came unglued. He was had want, wanted nothing to do with Christianity um, and was very offended and just laid into Jim at the time, you know. And Jim was really wondering if he had done the if he had done the right thing. So anyway, so they they went and through, through Jim didn't think anything of it. The conversation never came up again. The guy actually said, "Don't ever talk about Christianity to, to me again. I'm not interested in it. I don't want it." And Jim just said, "Okay, that's fine." Um, but the funny, the, the point of it is, is that years later, the same man that uh, was in the car that uh, was so anti, was so, so against hearing anything about Christianity, called Jim on the phone in the middle of the night. It was maybe five or six years later and said, Jim, I want you to pray for my family. My, I'm having, my, my wife just had a, a boy, a little boy, and he's dying in the hospital. And because of this, um, that one act that Jim had performed um, with the clothesline, um, that this man ultimately accepted Christ in his life. So, you know, the interesting thing about it is, is had Jim, he had a real struggle with that decision. And had he um, not, not done that, had he thought that he had, would, would have been too important and pushed the urging of God aside and not perform that simple ta- task, which he didn't understand at the time, it may have been that this man had, would, would never have been saved. But, it, it, you know, God knew that this would make an impression on him, and God knew what was going to come down, down the road, and, and that this was a tool that he used um, to reach this, this wealthy man. Oh, it was just it was an incredible, incredible story. Um, oh, I'm going long. Should I tell you my, my, my side of it? I'll tell you what. I'll do it on the next video. I don't want this video to go too much longer. But I had a similar experience um, as Jim, my friend Jim, did. Um, that I'll share with you next time. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. It's uh, Sabbath is coming. It's Friday. Friday, what time is it here? One o'clock. It's uh, the only thing that I can, uh, uh, one thing that I always want to encourage you to do is is whatever day you take, uh, take a day a week off. And we always talk about it, but to make it special. And our family's getting ready. It's always such a, it's always so nice on Fridays. Mrs. W is in cooking and preparing the food and always does a nice meal and and Jack looks forward to it and knows that there won't be any chores, and it's a, just a wonderful thing. So I encourage you to do that. And uh, if you're religious or not, it doesn't make any difference. Just, just take a day off and, uh, and, and do it. It'll be a blessing for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.